What's going on, everybody? Furious Pete. Furious Tux. And I guess I, uh, I want to touch base on a couple of topics as I'm driving around on a road trip. Not a road trip. Not a long drive, and I thought I'd whip out the camera and be able to knock out a couple topics that I wanted to talk about and questions that I've been getting. And a lot of questions that I've been getting actually relate to this topic. And the topic is, your goals are too fucking high. Now what does that mean? What does that mean? I don't think anybody's goals, if you're, if you're setting your own goals, I don't think anyone is able or is allowed to actually judge you on how big your goals are. If your goals are so damn big to like, you know, be a CEO of a hundred million dollar company and and um, be able to have yachts and this and this and this and get a Nobel Prize and be recognized as one of the smartest people in the world and, or best fitness model in the world or something else, then all the power to you. That is an amazing goal to have and although maybe unrealistic, it's still, that's your passion, that's your goal, and that's fine, that's fantastic. Um, all the power to you, if you reach that goal, then amazing job to you. Unfortunately, you know, a lot of us won't get to that, but we can still strive for those goals and try as hard as we can to reach our goals, whatever they may be. Um, you know, I, I know that in this world, a lot of people go for wealth, go for money because money buys the things that people want. Um, whether it be houses, vacations, travel, cars, jewelry, whatever. Um, however, the thing is, the, the, what I want to touch base here is not not anybody's, not to, you know, rain on anybody's parade um, in regards to their big goals. Because anyone can have big goals and they can achieve them. But what is the big issue here is that some people's goals are too big, too quick. That's the difference, that's the key. Long-term goals can be huge. And like anybody's, anybody with a passion or anyone that wants to really succeed, my long-term goals are huge, are really big, um, and I want to succeed in this world. However, short-term goals, and by short-term goals, I mean a month from now, six months from now, even a year from now. A year from now is not long-term. I would call that short-term. Long-term would be five, 10 years, 15, 20 years from now. So a year from now, I would still call short term because it really isn't that long of a time to take over the world. It's a good time. A lot of there's there's people in this world that become unbelievably successful in a year's time, but that has to do with a little bit of luck, connections, and you know just just really being smart about all your decisions. So what people need to focus on when they have these dreams, these huge, huge goals, is to make sure that their short-term goals are the realistic goals, are the ones that have a game plan and really make sense. Because if you can't attain those short-term goals, realistic short-term goals, then how the hell are you gonna achieve those long-term goals? So I think it's really important that, you know, a lot of people ask me, hey, I'm 120 pounds, uh, I want to go up to 200 pounds and become a cover model and then uh, start a supplement company. Uh, believe me, I've gotten emails like that. And, you know, that, that I think that's a long-term goal. It's not a short-term goal. Um, you have to, there's a lot of factors that go into that. And the first thing is, you know, getting in shape. That's a short, that's not a short-term goal, it's a long-term goal, but adding on a certain amount of weight, getting stronger, um, becoming more 
you know, adaptable with with uh, Daya, with uh, becoming more knowledgeable. Those are short-term goals. Like you're going to learn something. You're going to become. Um, you know, you're gonna understand how the body works, how nutrition works. You're gonna understand how to put on weight. You're gonna put on some weight. You're gonna learn different exercises. You're gonna get stronger. Those are little short-term goals. Getting a supplement company, getting on a cover. Those are long-term goals, especially if you haven't achieved a physique of some sorts. Of course, I'm, I'm referring to fitness because I guess I'm in the fitness world more than anything and that's what I'm talking about. That's what I can relate to more and I think that a lot of my audience right now watching is very intrigued by the fitness world. So um, I think that's a really good example. So when you guys are, you know, dreaming big and want to take over the world, make sure you check off and cover all those short-term goals before you tackle all those long-term goals. That's it. That probably made absolutely no sense. That's okay. Furious Pete, Furious Talks. Catch you guys next time. Take care for life. See ya, Pharaoh. Stay sexy, stay hungry, and of course, get laid. How oh, do I turn this off? This is complicated. That camera's stuck. Well, my friends, five times in a row, baby. Oh man, I'm pumped. I've, I've never won a contest five times in a row. This is a big milestone for me. I feel awesome. I feel really cool just, just to be able to do it. 